Cold water and air temperatures forced the organizers to cancel the swim at the Ironman 70.3 St. Paulton, and the race started with a sprint to the bikes. Germany's Andy Becherer quickly took control of the race and together with a handful of riders rode away from the rest of the field. Yvonne van Flerken was one of the favourites in the women's pro field and as the ladies started their two-discipline journey, the men's race was about to get interesting. Andy Becherer proved his bike credentials. He powered ahead on the tough climbs and really put down the hammer on the flats, averaging speeds of 41.2 kilometres an hour. A strong bike performance by the German, who entered transition in first place, followed by Bart Arenas from Belgium and Spain's Eneko Janos. <laughs> on the run, Arenas pounced straight away on Bucherer and tried to move away from the German. But the 30-year-old Bucherer stuck with the five-time Ironman 70.3 champion from Belgium, who now looked in charge of the race. Yvonne van Vlaken now starting for Austria and her new compatriot Lisa Hutala had dominated the women's bike race and arrived in transition together. At the front of the men's race, Andy Bercher has struggled to keep up with Bart Aronutz and the 29-year-old now clocked fast average speeds of 3 minutes 17 seconds per kilometer. In the meantime, Lisa Hutala had taken the sole lead in the women's race Averaging speeds of 3.50 per kilometer, the 30-year-old mother charged ahead, leaving a suffering Yvonne van Flerken in her trail. It was a triumphant arrival at the finish shoot for Bart Aronutz, who claimed yet another Ironman 70.3 victory and was clearly delighted in beating strong contenders Andy Becherer and Eneko Janos into second and third place. happy now it's uh, it was an amazing race for me I had a very good day an equally excited Lisa Hutala from Austria who won her second 70.3 race of the season after her victory in Mallorca could the Austrian possibly be a dark horse for Kona